Uh, I'm going to channel down these three tiles here and these three tiles here. Okay, we're just going to see if this is feasible or not with the micro reactor. We're going to build a gear assembly right here and right here. Okay, and we're going to build a water wheel. So machines and fluids, water wheel, east to west right here. And another one east to west right here. Okay, let's see. Build a horizontal axle east to west, and we're going to connect that gear assembly to the roller just like this. East to west, just like this. Total power needed is 91 for the entire system on both sides. So this side is 91, and this side is 91. This water wheel is going to provide 100 power. Excellent. Down one level here, we're going to remove the ramps out of the center tiles, just like that. Okay, center tile on the top is no longer a ramp, and then we're removing that one as well. Excellent. We're going to add a route. We're going to name this one N micro R. So that's North Micro Reactor. And we're going to add a track stop. Okay. And we're going to put that right here. Center. Okay, we're going to add a minecart to that track stop. That's not part of anything else. So this one look right here looks good. And we're going to remove all the conditions from it. Done. Now we're going to go to the build menu. Constructions. And a physical track stop. Okay. This is going to dump to the east or the west. Doesn't matter. On the full resistance. So right there on the center. And we're going to make that out of whatever material we have on hand. Another one. Same direction on the lower side here. Maximum resistance. So both of these track stops are complete. And they're going to be dumping to the west. Let's make the, the other route here. So we're going to name this one S Micro R. I'm going to add that track stop to the center right here on the south. Okay, we're going to remove all the conditions from it. We can add a mine cart that is not part of anything else. Right here. Okay, so we're going to go to zones and we're going to select a pit and pond. Okay, and we're going to put that pit and pond right here on top of the water wheel. Except that pond is not full. We're going to do the same thing on the bottom, right here, one tile long, pond is not full. We can make up to three of them here, because it's going to be one bucket per zone. One dwarf works one water zone, so if we did the water zone across the whole thing, only one dwarf is going to be working that, so pond is not full there, we'll do a second one down here, except pond is not full. Okay, and we need to get 16 units of water into this, into the top and the bottom of this. So this is going to be 5, 5, 6. 5, 5, 6. <laughs> so water wheels need a depth of 4, 7 or higher water moving in order to operate. And the minecart needs a depth of 6, 7 of water in order to dump. And this is the micro reactor. Okay, so I just paused the game, and if I mouse over these three tiles, they're all five, seven of water on the bottom level. So one of these two zones I'm going to disable because we only need one more unit of water in there. So that one's destroyed. Okay, so one more unit of water in the bottom. Is that it? That was not it. Oh, there we go. So you see it jumped over to a 7 here. So we got 7, 7, we got 5, 7, and we got 4, 7. So if you add all that up, that's 16 units of water. So then we're going to destroy the zone on the bottom. We have to be really quick about it. So destroy that zone. So the bottom here is done. And you see it just turned on as well. So the top here, let's see, 
five, four, seven, five. So two more units of water in here. Each bucket is one unit of water. Excellent. This one just turned on as well. So this one's ready to go. So we're going to destroy these two zones. Excellent. Thank you very much for watching and subscribe for more videos.